That's true. That's true. Yeah, that is true. That's true. And not only that, but they never found out who set the fire. No, they, well, they did, but we can't say it's sealed. Oh. It's sealed. Until 50 years after the crime? 50 years after the crime. We're back here with Ron Burgundy. Um, uh, long time, uh, I'm gonna, I want to say... Long time uh, what? Uh, hero? Hero of mine? Oh. Yeah. Well, I, thank you. <laughs> taken aback by that. I'm a broadcaster, you're a broadcaster. You definitely are. You're yeah. a hell of a broadcaster. I mean, the, your longevity is what I like. Well, your durability, yeah. the endurance, the you know punishment what? you've been able to take <clears throat> in your job would kill a lesser man. I, I would concur. Yes. yes. <laughs> but you know, my dad used to tell me, Ronald, every day you wake up is a good day. Right. <laughs> now, is this your first time in the Ed Sullivan Theater? No, it is not. No, in fact, I was here in 1964 to see my favorite magician, Fred Capps. Uh, and we were so excited. Yeah. And we were like, oh, Fred Capps and the crowd was... And we had to listen through this incessantly screeching band called the Beatles. <laughs> and they were just carrying on and on. Sure. And we, I, I was like, get off the stage! <laughs> You're never gonna make it anywhere, you bums! You bums! I don't know why I had such a visceral reaction. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they finally got their asses out of there and then... <laughs> Fred Capps came out and did his magic, and it was, it was wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did he have a signature uh, trick that he would do? Uh, he would put a, uh, he put a rabbit in a, uh, in a hat. <laughs> and the rabbit... Well, you know what's interesting the, about that? The rabbit that? would disappear. <laughs> and then the rabbit would appear again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was wondering, because many people take out a hat, and they'll reach in to remove the rabbit, and you said his trick no. was to actually put the rabbit... But, but hold on. To put the rabbit in the hat. Because I don't understand. That's exciting. You don't see that every day. You ever see a, ever that, see a guy here. stitch a woman together? Look, that was the beauty of Fred Capps. When he stepped out there, you didn't know what the hell he was going to do. Yeah. He had this trick where he would put a quarter he, behind your ear. He'd put a quarter behind your ear, and yeah. he'd, he'd just leave it there. So amazing. So amazing. So amazing. Fred yeah. Capps. Fred Capps. To Fred Capps. To Fred Capps. The king. The king. Whatever happened to the Beatles, by the way? No, uh, no. They did, did, didn't work. <laughs> You've been reporting on current events for a long time. You're a newsman's newsman. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you and Cronkite uh, sure. partied. You guys partied, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. You guys used to take his we boat out beyond territorial waters and run a... Where there's no, you know, maritime law. There's no law. Maritime law. Right, maritime, maritime law. Maritime law, which is yeah. essentially no law. No law. Yeah. You guys could just have, like, a, a poker... A poker. Oh, gosh, we'd shoot off flare guns. Uh, try at to... each other. You used to shoot... At, at, at each other. Yes. Try to... Yeah. Harpoon sea life and... Uh, yeah. California gray whales. Yeah. Um, yeah, on you the East it. Coast, very you rare. Very rare for those. Well, there's some. They'll yeah. sometimes... Go all the way around the long way. Panama Canal. And show off against the humpbacks. Yeah. And it's... Yeah. You don't oh, want to be mano, around. Mano. You don't want to be around when that happens. No. No. Did you... Uh, did you... When you were younger, did you ever... Uh, did you ever meet Donald Trump? I mean, people talk about him a lot. You know, it's in the sure. news now. You must have your own perspective on Mr. Trump. I cause... once was playing in a celebrity golf tournament with him, and he shot 90 under par. It was incredible. Wow. He broke wow. all the course records by a mile. Wow. And we were just in disbelief. But this guy's a real character. He's a riverboat gambler. You know what I mean? That's what he's a hell of a businessman. Yeah. 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 Did you ever I mean, did he ever invest in any of his properties or anything like that? I invested well, I invested in Trump University. <laughs> Good. And what was great was I wrote the check and I got three degrees. Yeah. Wow. Good for you. So. Good for you. To knowledge. To knowledge. To knowledge. Knowledge is king. Yes. Do you think, do you think, and you would know, again, as a newsman's newsman, do you think there's a fake news problem in today's media? Well, I, I think, I think it's out there for sure. Uh, but... Out there meaning it exists? It or... exists. Yeah. yeah, but let's face it, a lot of the stuff I reported on was fake. I made it up. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've always told, told, told people, young journalists, that you have to go out there and you find the news, you find the truth. And if right? you can't find it... And if you can't find it, there's plenty of handsome white guys like me who lie right to your face. 
hold that thought. Uh, we'll be right back with more Ron Burgundy, everybody.